Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more This War of Mine. Oh, fantastic. So, in the previous episode, we went to the supermarket looking for food, and we managed to get three tins of food, two meat and veg. So we are sorted. And we also managed to get, I think we got the components and wood we needed to make some more stuff. So, for today, let's first get Bruno out of bed. Because we need to make sure Marco... Um, Actually, you know what, Bruno, you have to go cook for their entire family. We need three food, but I suppose just to be efficient, uh, we want hmm, two food, so we have to make two fuel. Make it out of the books. I don't think the books are that important right now. So while he's making that, Pavel, you can eat one tin, and then we can be a little bit more efficient with that sort of thing. He's still slightly wounded and tired. Okay. Well, you're not hungry anymore, so there's that. Right. Bruno, make us some food, please. And Pavel can make himself the bed he's going to sleep on tonight. I think that's what we want to do, because we've got some... He's injured as well as being quite sick, so we need people recovering during the daytime. Hopefully that's what ends up happening. So Bruno has finished his dinner, which is good. Did we lose the water or does it actually... Seven. I think we gained some water from that. I'm not sure if it finished overnight because we didn't finish it at the end. But let's get it started now. You're slightly sick, Bruno. You're slightly wounded and tired, so get into bed. Since you're slightly sick, I'll get you to have some medicine. Might be a bit of a slow day for us today, actually, because we need to do a lot of recovering. Slightly sick on meds. I'm not sure if slightly sick is deserving of proper medication. Probably herbal medication would have been better, but what can you do? We don't have really the option. So we're just going to wait until Marco's done with his sleep. Ooh, someone's at the door. First, let's have a look. We can't build anything. But I think we want to get the moonshine still online. Or maybe even just board up. We need a lot of wood and we need a lot of components. We're fine for food. So I think that's what we want to do. Oh god, it's two kids. Oh dear. Maybe an introduction to the DLC. Our mom is sick. Please help us. We live several blocks away from here. Our mum's very ill. She needs medications. Could you spare any? Without your help, she will die. After daddy went to fight, we have only her. Please help us save her. You need two medicine. We have three, don't we? Uh, she needs two medicine. Bruno only needs one. What's going on? Fine. Thank you. Quickly. Let's go get the medicine to mum. Yeah, we still have one left. But now we're in a little bit of a trouble. A bit of a problem if we don't... You are content. Ooh, your bio's flashing. Those kids are very brave. They risked their lives walking around the neighborhood to save their mother. And his day four story. All this shelling, sniper fire, and lack of supplies makes you want to hide away, sit down, and cry. But we cannot let them crush our spirit. We have to show them that we can't take away our dignity. It's difficult here, but you know how we did it on our street. Ooh. We got any more bio updates? We do. Poor children. I hope our meds are enough to help their mother. They better be. And Marco. We just couldn't leave those poor kids without help. That would be callous. You're not wrong. Not wrong. Oh, and Marco is up. So Marco can go get his food, and Bruno can go back to sleep. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get more water on before the night's out, but we'll try. That'll do for now, you're not wrong. I assume content is just 
fine. She's alright. Let's shut the door. Let's not let the heat out. <laughs> God, live in a barn. Right, uh, everywhere is searched in this place, so it's only a matter of just looking at what we need. Did we want to... Up if we upgrade the workshop, which is going to take a lot... Right, so we want components and wood when we go out. Because we have enough for two, and we have enough for two meals here. Three technically, and five tins, so absolutely golden on food. Meds is a bit iffy, but if you look at how much we need, and we do really need to advance this kind of thing. Maybe not this one specifically, since we have already leveled it up once, but... Yeah, right, so we have the rainwater collector. I think we're generating enough rain for it to be fine. Crude stove, yeah, we've got that. Herbal garden. We can make herbs so that we can make medication and cigarettes. That's a good tradable resource, but I'm not sure if it's important just yet. And then the herbal workshop is where you prefer uh, prepare herbal meds and bandages. And low quality rope cigarettes. Okay. So this is medicine, which we're alright with. I think we want to go for the moonshine still though. Moonshine still and upgrading stuff. So we just want components and wood. And maybe anything that's important. Let's go restart the water filter. Actually, do I need any? Yeah, I need another filter. Um, let's head down here. We should have enough time to get another one going. So we want to make ourselves... Oh, we don't have enough components. Ooh. Alright. So we're slightly sick on meds and recovering. Slightly wounded and recovering. But you're content. I think content might have actually come from helping those children, maybe. I'm not sure. If you know down in the comment section below is where you can let me know. But, yeah, we want to board up the place so we stop getting attacked. We also need a weapon to defend ourselves. We can leave the crowbar behind, I think, as a weapon. But we might need that because I'm pretty sure we don't want to go back to the supermarket again. Because we ran out of wood there, didn't we? But... Okay, well, since we've got nothing left to do, I'm going to speed up the night until something interesting happens. If these guys heal, then I'll slow it down. But other than that, actually, should we just end the day? Yeah, let's just end the day and let's go in. Night time. Right, so. Marco, scavenger. Do we want... You're on meds, so you can guard... But you're slightly wounded, so you need sleep to get rid of that. We have Sniper Junction now in a small apartment building. This old apartment building is owned by an elderly couple and their son. They're still around, somehow managing to fend off looters. They probably have uh, supplies like loot and meds, but won't be willing to share with us. We can try to steal them or take them by force. Lockpicks might come in handy. Well, we're not doing that. Sniper Junction. The city's centre used to be beautiful, with parks, squares and monuments surrounded by surrounded by old buildings. Unfortunately, numerous incidents with civilians shot out. They earn it, its nickname, Sniper Junction. We may find valuable things there, but it's risky. Yeah, it's dangerous. So, we want materials. Huge amounts of materials in the ruined villa. Uh, but they say people still live there. Could go to the shelled school. Huh. They say home homeless people have taken refuge inside the building. So if we go to the shelled school, we're going to need a shovel to be most efficient with it. But it has a huge amount of materials. And materials help us make a shovel. So, I mean... It looks like it's shelled school for the next two nights. And... Do we want to take the crowbar with us? 
yeah, I guess we'll have to take the crowbar with us. And let's get scavenging. Right. I heard they had classes when the shell shelling started. Poor kids. So we want to be cautious because I'm not sure what the situation is with these this place. That's good. Take that. Actually, leave one component in there so that it doesn't um, delete the spot. So if we want to min-max towards the exit like we did with the first place, then we can do that. Nothing but useless trash. Okay. There's no one there. That looks like a rat, so it should be alright. Yeah, it's just rats. So there's apparently homeless people around, but nothing here. Are you kidding me? Oh dear. Well, that's that requires shoveling out, so let's try just do the areas that don't need a shovel. Oh my god, everywhere needs a shovel. Right. Actually... Down here didn't need one, did it? I want to try get enough components and stuff so that we can come back more prepared next time. Oh, it's bud. Bloody hell. Right, we're going this way then. I'll speed this up because it's a little boring. Okay, we're done. I've just noticed as well, we need to do this one too, so... Let the fast forwarding continue. I think from that point on though, we can come down here. And I was just looking around, it looks like we can get into all this section if we get rid of this... ...bit of rubble. Could really use a shovel, you're not wrong. Next time we'll have to bring a shovel, but... ...we're struggling on time here a little. So, we might be in a bit of trouble resource-wise. I'm not sure if that's boarded off or not. If it's boarded off, then we're in a lot of trouble. In fact, you know what? I'm not sure if I can take that chance. We know there's one slot there, though. And there's likely a fair few things here, maybe we don't know about. Oh, we can get down here. There's a ladder there. So we can explore all that area and hopefully that'll have enough wooden components for us to do something during the day next episode. Almost done. Please don't screw us, game. Please don't screw us. Here we go. Right, so... What's in here? Service says. Oh my god, that is exactly what we needed. Oh, wonderful. Right. It's boarded up, so we can't go that way. And then this has got bars on it. So we need a saw blade to get in there. I think we have to upgrade the workbench to get that. An electrical part, okay. Assuming we can't get through here. No. Okay. So we need a saw blade and a shovel to do anything decent here. Shovel most of all though. So otherwise it's just inefficient timing. We saw a guy or a marker here. It looks as though... They are, they are homeless though. Took my food again. These guys are homeless, so I doubt they're going to attack us. We're almost out of time. So I could do with some more stuff. If 
before we leave down here, maybe. Lots of doors. Aha. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's locked behind a grate. So there's something interesting there. Looks like probably a lot of herbs and medicine, maybe. A fridge. A fridge. Oh my god. Right. So, we don't need water. We don't need electrical parts. Uh, I think we need a little bit of parts. So I'll take a stack of components and actually let's do it like that. I think that's what we're leaving with. 4, 8, 16, yeah, okay. It's not enough to upgrade a bench, I don't think, but it's enough to make a shovel as far as I'm aware. And that's what we need to come back and do a real good job next time. So let's run to the exit because we're almost out of time. I can't remember what happens if you don't get out in time. But I can't imagine it's good. Yeah, you should get back. You're not wrong. Come on, 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 come on. Run! Just there. Yes. Fantastic. That was too close. So we're on the fifth day. Wish I could bring so much back every night. Oh, we've been raided. Though this might not take effect because I will be closing the game after this. So we may not be raided by the time the next episode starts up. But Bruno got slightly wounded and yeah, they didn't steal anything. So this might not be the case next episode. It could be worse, it could be better, but we'll have to see until then. Uh, so if you've enjoyed the episode, guys, then be sure to leave a like. If you've loved the episode, then be sure to subscribe. And if you're not quite sure, stay for the end card, see the rest of the content I've got to offer. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.